Hey, Corey. Hi, Kevin. How are you today? I'm here. <laughs> it's more day, than I can say for Nick. <laughs> day 370-something of quarantine, so it's... Yeah, day 370-something of March 2020. <laughs> that's, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Absolutely. So oh. um, let's kick off uh, this Saturday with a, a nice little Marvel joke. All right. <laughs> what do you get when you cross uh, Captain America with the Incredible Hulk? Oh, geez. I don't know what. Star Spangled Banner, baby. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Terrific. Just wonderful. Uh, <laughs>a good start well hello Absolutely. everyone welcome Happy back saturday another another episode <laughs> here of the uh, the real heroes show if you can't tell uh this is the week off between wandavision and falcon winter soldier and uh you know we're, we're we're so spoiled rotten at this point that we didn't have anything new to watch uh yesterday that um we're, we're slowly losing our minds and it's gonna be a good time but uh we will be well fed this week um, you know please definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already uh in this video we're going to be previewing falcon and the winter soldier uh we also have a justice league preview uh on the channel as well uh and we're also gonna have a video this week with uh our favorite mcu or really just marvel moments on just film marvel in general yeah. Uh, so far, I'm sure that there are many memories that are going to be made in the future, but we're going to recap some of our favorites. So uh, definitely make sure to, to subscribe to the channel uh, so you don't miss any of those this week uh, in the anticipation of, of all this comic book extravaganza that's happening later on in the week. So, um, Kevin, it, yes, is, sir. it is time. It was supposed to come out in August of last year, um, and we're, we're finally at the, the week of release for The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, absolutely we're we're looking at six episodes with a runtime somewhere between 45 to 55 minutes per episode which should shut up all the haters that don't like short episodes of television um like me <laughs> well whatever call it call, yeah. calls it likes a season um, yeah <clears throat> six episodes hour long ish uh more cinematic idea i guess than than wandavision uh probably not going to see shifting aspect ratios and sitcom humor it kind of feels like this one's going to be a little more of a movie um where where are your hype levels for for this show coming off the heels of wandavision you know uh, but if you would have asked me this two weeks ago i would have had a very different response because um although i like both of these characters they were never really at the top of my list in terms okay. of um, you know, favorites or anything like that. Winter Soldier always had this kind of mystique to him, and he's very cool. Um, and if Nick was here, he would fight me because he loves him. He uh, sure <clears throat> but uh, after seeing what they did with Wanda and Vision, who also were two of not my favorite characters, I have a completely different uh, point of view. Sure. And, and not to mention the the clips that have been released um, where we've been able to see a little bit of the writing when it comes to dialogue and stuff. Yeah. fantastic uh, writing and I get the idea that this is going to be um, one hell of a buddy cop uh, you know oh, yeah. good cop bad cop maybe bad cop bad cop at times I'm, I'm getting know. a lot of lethal weapon vibes 100% right yeah, yeah absolutely they're they're gonna bicker the whole time but you know when it comes down to it they're they're gonna have each other's back which is what it's gonna be all about but you know some of the clips when they're talking about androids aliens and wizards it, it, it's <laughs> it's also showing that um marvel doesn't take itself too seriously yeah. uh, it's like hey <laughs> we're well aware of the kind of shit that we're putting in front of you guys and and yep. and how silly it can seem at times so um that's nice that's nice when somebody can can take a step back and uh you know kind of poke fun at themselves just a little bit so yeah for sure man i i, I think you're you're right on the money there with the um, secondary and maybe even tertiary characters getting the spotlight. Uh, obviously, Sam Wilson was, spoilers if you haven't seen Endgame, he was handed the Captain America shield at the end of that film. So yep. um, there, there's a pretty big void to fill. It seems like 
uh, Steve has either retired or died or whatever. We don't really know quite yet, but um, you know, I think one of the big lingering questions that this show is going to hang over our heads is who's going to end up with that shield, right? Because yeah, we got absolutely. Uh, there are runs in comic books where both the Falcon and the Winter Soldier end up becoming Captain America. So I think it'll yep. be uh, pretty fascinating to see that. Um, you know, you've also got characters like uh, Sharon Carter coming back who was like a, a real like third tier character no offense to to the actor or anything but you know just the way that she was written into those movies um she was there but was never really right in the limelight i think she's going to get a little bit more of a chance to shine um you know baron zemo is back from mm -hmm. captain america civil war um which you know some people were kind of like lukewarm on him as a villain i thought he was a really cool concept the whole idea of somebody who doesn't have superpowers that uses his smarts to split the Avengers up and make them fight each other is, is kind of mm -hmm. cool. But, um, you know, he's back with his, his comic accurate mask and everything. Uh, it also seems like there are a lot of question marks as to, you know, oh, for sure. You know, there's a lot of characters in those trailers that we don't really know who they are or what they're about yet. Um, so I think that's, that's pretty awesome. But I, I would say for me, the thing that uh, I really hope we get is is the diving into the backstory for the two leads i, I want to no. see more i'm super super intrigued by what bucky's life was as an assassin um you know we see a little bit of it in civil war when he kills tony's parents and whatnot but that's just like one mission um so i'm really curious to see how they they dive into that to flesh out the bucky character a little more um but more important than anything else i i want to I want a Marvel story that's about the struggle of being black in America. And, you know, I have a feeling they're, they're going to tell Sam, no, he can't be cap. They're going to, they're going to push him down. They're going to smother him. Um, and it's going to be, how does he persevere and, and become uh, the captain America that was picked by the last one. So I yeah. think that's, I think that's pretty cool. But Yeah. And it raises some questions too. Like yeah. who is, who actually has the authority now to say who's Captain America and who's yes. not, right? With with Shield out of the picture, I don't think Sword is uh, getting involved in in politics really. I mean, I think they're more, you know, military. Yeah, they're um, directors in handcuffs. So <laughs> directors in handcuffs. Um, so it's uh, you know, it raises that question of like, who decided who's going to be this U.S. agent guy? Who's gonna, you know, who decides who's going to be Cap? Who? Yeah. Who holds the uh, the trademark there? <laughs> you know, yeah. like if, if that's a that's a mantle that gets passed down, then um, it seems like the the previous guy would pass it down. But now it's just hearsay too, right? It's like Sam right. going, no, but no, he told me. Yeah, okay, sure he did, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. It's like Bucky was like twenty feet back, just awkwardly standing there watching that conversation happen. Maybe he didn't right. hear what they said to each other exactly um, it's like yeah yeah you're captain america and i am iron man <laughs> um so it's like you know i i'm curious to see how that plays out and as far um, as the government's concerned obviously it seems like they're going to put u.s agent in there as the new cap so they, they yeah absolutely shits about bucky or sam in this regard so and i'm um, curious i mean we haven't seen who's playing that character um and i don't think we have have we um, well, they announced who the who the actor was. Um, oh, okay, gotcha. It's uh, it's Wyatt Russell, Kurt Russell, and Goldie Hawn's son. Oh, uh, okay, all right. Yeah. So very cool. But aside from the fact that we know who it is, uh, we we don't really know much about how Marvel's going to handle the character. If it's going to be a super serum type thing, if it's just a, a guy that's in really good shape and is from the military or, or what, we yeah. The trailers have been very light on U.S. agent stuff, which makes me yeah. think it's a very important part of the show, which is which is fantastic. I I would anticipate as as much, yeah. And um, you know, there's also this uh, looming hint in the background of mutants as well, uh, with them. I, I know, You're I know. Die you die on that hill, aren't you? I'm gonna die on that hill. <laughs> I am. But they're teasing Madripoor. Yeah, yeah, right? they are. Um, and what was that if not? you know a nice little hideout for mutants and criminals and it's kind of the Tatooine cantina of the marvel universe it's a it is a wretched hive of scum and <laughs> yeah um and it you know wolverine fought there in world war ii and um you know according to the comics uh so there's there's a lot of lore and, and history that come along with madripoor and if if that really is what they're showing us then yeah. 
this could be, and I don't want to get my um, <laughs> my expectations up as high as they were with WandaVision, but sure. this could be as much the vehicle for, for Phase 4 as I thought WandaVision was going to be. So, Well, I, I think there's a good chance of that, because yeah. remember, this was supposed to come out first. Mm -hmm. This was supposed to be the show that had all the pressure on it to be the first big Disney Plus thing and make a splash. It's got the remarkably huge budget of 150 million dollars for a six yep. episode tv show like that's unheard of um i i did some research and it, it looks like you know a typical mandalorian episode costs around 12 million to make uh some game of thrones episodes were up in like the 15 16 um but i i couldn't find anything in history that comes in at 25 million an episode so that's crazy um, you're, you're that's looking a big, at big big budget miniature marvel movies uh yeah. i think which is which is what you're going to get out of this so um, who knows we we may get some more surprises and you know some more threads that that come out of this um i'm curious yeah. to see what what shakes out of it but i'm not getting my hopes up <laughs> i'm not going to get my hopes up i am curious to see what the internet comes up with i mean i've seen yeah people speculating hellfire club i've seen people speculating all kinds of shit at this point um it's hard to say when all we have is a couple of trailers right. obviously but yep. two or three episodes in internet's gonna be a wild place once oh again. <laughs> i think probably by the end of the first one the, yeah, the maybe theories so. are gonna be on fire i saw one person made a meme already it was the uh the, the title card that says the falcon and the winter soldier and it said Mephisto and the Winter Mephisto, <laughs> <laughs> and and I about died. I was like, that's, that's accurate. Great. We're yep, so we're never right. we're never gonna fall off the Mephisto train. It seems, but, um, but awesome. yeah, man, I, I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, a, a big change of pace from Wandavision, I'm sure. But yep. um, you know, that's what the MCU to me should be all about. It should be about a whole bunch of different flavors, whether it's a sitcom or a, a character study on grief or a bunch cop film or horror thing like Doctor Strange is supposed to be you know having a whole bunch of different it's like a buffet line of, of what do you want and what do you like and well it's like the comic universe yeah that's what they give you with the comics that's what they're going to give you with the cinematic universe that's, that is what makes it special so yeah. um I, I would say to, to close this video out what is what is one prediction that you want to make for this show one prediction this is this is a hope as much as it is a prediction. Okay, fair enough. The term mutants gets dropped. You want to hear the word mutant. I want to hear the word mutant. Okay. Yeah. All right. By the, by the end of this thing, even if it's in a a, a post credit, mid credit, something, I want to hear the word mutant. Hmm. Fair what enough. You? Uh, I would say prediction. I think by the end of the show, we will find out uh, who Captain America is going to be for the next couple phases of Marvel. Um, my hope is that we get like a Thunderbolts, Dark Avengers type reference and we get some clues as to what could go on there. But uh, yeah. that is a little bit of a stretch and a long shot. So I, if it doesn't happen, I won't be upset about it. <laughs> Either way, hey, this is going to be a hell of a ride. Oh yeah, absolutely. Very much looking forward to it. We're going to cover it here on the channel. Uh, obviously, uh, we're going to review every single episode. We're going to do theory videos after them, just like we did for WandaVision and get our own hopes way too high. So please make sure to, to stick with the channel for that. Um, you know, we would love to hear you guys, what your thoughts are. Are you excited for this show? Um, is the return back to, you know, not not to say nor nor normal Marvel <laughs> is the, the right way of saying it, but yeah. uh, are you looking forward to the yin to Familiar the Marvel. Uh, that this will be to, to WandaVision, let us know in the comments below. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so that way you get uh, all of our content. Again, on the channel this week, we've got a Justice League preview, we've got this preview, uh, we've got a Top Marvel Moments thing coming out, might have some other stuff coming too. So definitely make sure to uh, be on the lookout for all of those things. Uh, and we will see you guys in the next video.